It's match day, I can only mean one thing. Sunderland versus Plymouth. Plymouth and Sunderland have got some history, but nothing comes close to this iconic moment. <laughs> Although Plymouth have lost only two games in the last 10, they've only managed to win once in 15 away from home, and that was recently against Swansea. Last game, they beat us 2-0 down at their place with an absolute screamer from Whittaker. <laughs> and the lads have got to be very aware of the threat that Whittaker poses. He's got 16 goals and six assists, and he is the league's top goal scorer. We need to get right at them at the start, get the ball moving quicker and attack them from the off. Free one, how are the lads? Outside the stadium of Riley, Riley mate, Riley. playing Plymouth, what do you reckon the score's going to be, do you? Uh, I think 3-1 to Sunderland. 3-1, so that's exactly what I've said mate. Yeah. Who do you um, reckon's going to score? I think Clark 2 and I think uh, Job might score as well. Job? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's desperate for a goal, isn't he? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh. What's the light talking on the video? Stephen likes to do it, I wear the light. Right here, inside oh, the stadium. No, 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 hold. Down. I'm hanging out my hoop. You're hanging out your hoop? I'm hanging out my hoop. And why is that? Because I went for a drink with me nephew I went for a couple of pints yesterday which turned into a 12 hour session. <laughs> Reach Stephen, you've got the line up. I have indeed. Patterson's in goal. Hume, Ballard, O'Nine and Yeldair at the back. Neil, Egwa, Roberts, Clark, Bruson and Barr is playing. Job is finally getting arrested. He's on the bench alongside Bishop, Pembele, Emir, Burstow, Mundell, Oshish, Silt and young Chrissy Rigg. I'm quite happy with that here. I am indeed. He did hint at it in his press conference where he said he could move Barr into the middle as he, he does prefer to be more central. Um, so I think we'll see Byron Roberts like swapping about with each other. Aye, aye. A lot of Plymouth supporters are quite optimistic. This is their strongest lineup apparently. And you know they're looking at getting getting something good yet, dear. Well, of course they are. I mean, the beat us down there, place. So now they're a good team. They've got the best striker in the league um, at the minute. Um, Morgan Winnegar. I mean, he's a, he's a dangerous player. He's a threat, and hopefully Ballard will have him in his back pocket. <laughs> Look with nine again away. Good block away nine. Yes. Go on, clock on. Clock away. Oh, he's rendered him too easy. Oh my god, what's he doing? Oh, fuck! Yeah, it was tucking this, it was clocking this too. See if he can do any better. Oh, long time. Get off and limit the shoots coming out now. Of course he doesn't. Trans Young pulls it back. Oh! Give me a 
Remembering John Sneer from the tavern. Full time, 3-1, well done. There you are. Got it started? That's what I'm moving through, you're the camera. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> 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 right, it's finished here, 3-1. Don't want to give it to us, Paul. I'd love to know what Bill said in the dressing room at our time, because we came out like a different team. It is. Uh, but we were going forward, the pass of us was swift. It was I good to watch. And we were attacking the ball. And Three cracker goes by a well worked free kick for the first one for Equa. And then Jack Clark doing what Jack Clark does, curled it off the post. And then Joe came on, instant impact, done pretty much the same, curled around it off the post. Three cracker goals, three cracker points. It is, I. Well, on Huddersfield, I. But I'll tell you what. We, we did see it. If you give Joe a rest, he'll come back, please. He'll get a rest for the first half. I'll tell you what, to quote you, yelled at. Uh, Mundel, so he looks like a fast thing in fast land, or whatever, whatever <laughs> the word is. Like, he looks like come on. But like you say, Stephen, I totally agree with you. Game of two halves, more energy, more tempo, more forward thinking, yeah. and it was a much better performance. Credit Bill for his substitutes as well. Yeah. Because at 2 1, oh, yeah, no, he, he made the changes he brought on. And he made the early. I so did, I. Good to see. But, I mean, we had the first half, but I thought Luke O'Neill was going to be dead third for being man of the match. Aye, the same, same. However, in the second half, the defence didn't really have much to do. And for me, man of the match goes to one of our own, Dan Neil. I thought he was fantastic aye, from start to finish. Um, he broke down the play brilliantly, created things, he was getting the tackles in. Right. So, well done, Dan. Well, I, I, I was going to give it to one night myself, personally. But like you said, Dan Neil was, he was amazing. Yeah. Clark, the second half was unbelievable as well. He tore them a new one down this uh, left-hand side. Yeah, he certainly so did. So, I, I probably agree with you, I get yeah. to Dan Neil. And another thing, it's now 2-2 two, two in the competition, because I predicted 3-1. I didn't even do a prediction. And, and he didn't. But never mind that. Yeah. Three points, three goals. Oh, no, no, a lot no. of happy people. Are we the lad?